Greetings to everybody in VibesWorkshop.com. Jerry Leak here with another video, uh, bringing some ideas to the balafone, creating different bridges of rhythmic possibilities, independence building, groove, um, that will connect the dots on mallet instruments, drums, of course, which is a lot of where I'm orienting, uh, and piano is, a, I think, the most essential of all the percussion instruments to play, but as mallet players, we're, we're inside that world anyway. Okay, so download this page, and it's a 16-bar excerpt from the world-famous book Syncopation by Ted Reed. It's exercise number one. I'm not sure what page number it's on. Uh, the whole book is fantastic, but really, i got to tell you, in all honesty, to me, the entire book comes down to just these 16 bars. It's a, almost like the perfect rhythmic phrase with so much melodic contour. I'm surprised it hasn't been reinvented in every possible way. Uh, melodically and of course as drum set players I'm one and maybe you guys have those back that background as well it's one of the strongest teaching tools that we use we treat this page and all the ex exercises in the book the actual exercises compositions as uh, as if it was a chart interpretation at Berkeley and Newham Conservatory you know the drummer has to, and all drummers of course need to understand how to interpret a chart and create uh, their own way of playing the phrase so this is a bare bones representation of the beat in four at the bottom. You can, in a jazz setting, you can think of that just as a four on the floor. I do still have my ankle bells on and I'll see if I use them very much. And the right hand is creating the phrase. And the most standard way to do this is to put it all in swing. You're playing the spang a on the, the ride cymbal and the bass drum doing whatever it needs to, maybe just two and four on the hi-hat. Dang, spang a -lang, spang. And then you start to navigate through the phrase. And, even though it's written in straight eighth notes, we know we're talking about swing eighth notes. So what I want to do is actually just play this phrase and sing my syllables sang and C for the long and the short phrase. So for example, the first bar, if I'm creeping the four, laying down a backbeat, I would say C sang, C sang, 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 C sang, sang, C sang, C C sang, C sang. That's the first line. Let me do the whole phrase. Probably not hearing that too much. Go ahead and I'll put it to a stick. Like the two, four, the, the two and four of the hi-hat. And you really want to memorize this phrase. It's just so easy to carry with you in your head and in your mind. And we'll talk about some of the other styles that people do play it in. Um, but we're going to keep it, um, you know, we'll find ways on the battle phone. One, two, C sang, here we go. She sang, she sang, 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 she sang, sang, she sang, she she sang, she sang, she sang, she she sang, she sang, she sang, she sang, sang, she sang, 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 she sang, she sang, 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 she sang, she she sang, 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 she sang, she she sang, she she sang, 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 she sang, beginning. I mean. What horn player or bop player wouldn't immediately hear that? Do do ba do 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 ba ba do ba do ba ba do ba ba do ba 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 do ba ba do ba 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 do ba ba do ba 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 um, I'm going to play the right hand. I'm just going to lay down the four beat. So the C's, the, the short notes, are going to be in our lovely interval. I have other notes, as you know, but I'm really not concerned about going nuts on the possibilities. Just finding shapes, and I think having them be familiar to us makes a lot of sense. It's all based on uh, teaching uh, priorities, of course. So, C sang, C sang. If I put it in the two and the four, I'm going to keep the uh, ankle bell on the one and the three so we feel that. So this is me sort of representing the hi-hat, and we have the same phrase. Ready, go. short 
parts if I mix them up, I don't really care. In fact, when the, we teach this on drum set, you know, we, we think about the eighth notes maybe on the bass drum, the quarter notes on the snare, and then switching that around. Um, so there's really, it's really just a guide for you inside combinations. And once again, these first 16 bars really represent the bulk of the possibilities that is represented in the rest of the, the page. They start to repeat themselves, and, and there's nothing like uh, having a nice four bar, 16 bar phrase to put us in that space. Okay, so that was the two and the four. Uh, it's also possible to play this in a kind of a three feel. So let's sing. I'm gonna just keep it on the one notes. Now, uh, basically this is the four over three. Watch, let's see if I can do this. It has just occurred to me, here we go. Should try it again. See if I can do this. So one, two, a one, two, wish me luck. continuous off B part of the phrase which is the uh, third line kind of those last two bars it has some interesting combinations yeah I'm sweating a lot inside as I do this there's no doubt about it plus you know because it's on film and this is my first and only take so uh, that's the way I like to do things let's uh, let's now bring this into this the swing feel in fact you can bring it really into a shuffle feel because when you think about it the swing feel is actually 12-8. The spang lang is really, we think of it in 4-4 with swing, but ultimately these are triplets, so it becomes the 12-8. So tucky the 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 Which is why the 12-8 bell pattern also is a very nice fit here. I may not include it in this video, but it's certainly where I'm heading next. We'll see how I feel. It's a pretty advanced approach. Um, so the shuffle. She sang, she sang, 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 she sang, sang, she sang, she sang, she sang, she sang. You get the idea. Let's see how that feels. Here. So let's see. there we'll call them these are really really quite heavy mallets I gotta say in fact after doing these lessons and I go play vibes it's like it's almost impossible to play there's so much energy so much strength that um, I gotta kind of let it go so as I work on my sets for performances I have to do them in an order where my hands don't start to fall apart not necessarily fall apart but the muscles change so let's end this video with the obvious the uh, Bang-a-lang. Maybe I'll keep it in the four, since that's the notation. So I'm keeping them my foot alive. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Try it again. One, two,
over to the syncopation page. Okay, so I've decided I am going to give you a little bit of a hint into the 12-8. Um, the video is kind of long, but it is part of this package. Now, the spang a lang is in 12-8. Bang, bang a lang, bang a lang. So is the famous Bembe Agbekor's 12-8 bell pattern, known as the standard bell. Uh, there's going to be a lot of information on the next video where I present these 12 A studies. But instead of being B comes sang 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 sang. Now it's possible to go back and forth sang sang a lang sang a sang 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 sang. Okay, I'm going to give you some of these on the balafone. To show you possibilities, not limitations. And if I make any mistakes, well, unintended, event, uh, unintended events is what we'll call them. So I keep my sanity here. I'm going to just play them all on the one interval, okay? So here we go. One, two, here we go. change the feel of the foot in the three feel uh, not here to show off but if that happens well so be it anyway these are wonderful mechanics and when I play jazz when I play the vibraphone as you heard in some of my other videos I'm a very busy player there's no doubt about it I just love to get around on the instrument and I take chances and um, some of them fail some of them land um, but I'm having fun and I don't I don't really care it's all about uh, bearing your soul and sharing the wealth of possibilities. So that is that world famous page. Thank you, Ted Reed. Uh, this page you may download, but if you're going to buy the book, uh, please buy the book. That said, I hope you enjoyed this and it was clear enough. Leave me comments, uh, questions, criticisms. I take it all. I'm a big boy. I can, I can handle it. And uh, that said, I hope you learn something and can find ways to apply the material, everything that we're doing. Okay, thank you everybody. Thank you, Tony, uh, for this amazing website. And we'll see you soon for some more. I have other ideas. We're moving into the 12-8 world, actually, the African side. Take care. Talk to you soon.